Apple Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial for Photoshop CC 2014, I'm going to use a shape layer, a rectangle, and I'm just going to use that as a source for a random fill to create an interesting, colourful background. Now, just go over here to the Shape Rectangle tool. I'm going to go for Shape Layer, not Pixels, but Shape. Set it to Fill with Red. And I'm just going to add a thin line there. So I've got that's the source for the pattern. Now, just going to remove the background. Now, what I'm going to do, just go to a layer. I'm going to add a shadow to it. So a layer, a layer style, drop shadow. Just move that over so you can actually see the shadow. Click OK. And now select the rectangle marquee tool and define the area for the pattern. OK. Now edit, define pattern. Click OK. Just going to remove that now, so I'm just going to go with a blank canvas and edit, fill, and pattern, and set the pattern itself. I only just got one pattern in there, so I'm just going to select that and set the script on, that's the key thing, and random fill. Click OK. Now, a dialogue will come up. Now, the dialogue doesn't always match the preview. It's not exact. It's a rough idea about what the end result will be probably a little section of it anyway so you can actually probably zoom in there and actually sadly there's no zoom feature either so you modify the scale factor modify the density you can obviously just reduce it down so you can see more of the background see it there just go back up to maximum modify the color randomness you can put that down and brightness just gonna not lose that, that much and I'm just going to go now when you've done that you can actually see there's not actually variation at all it doesn't look actually very nice so I think it works better with brightness randomness and a bit of color randomness so set that up there and you can modify the rotates as well so you can have it all just in a straight line so it creates interesting sort of straight line sort of wind blast effect but I'm going to go for the rotate option click OK and there you have it, you've got a nice sort of interesting black. Now of course you can apply it again and again, maybe apply it to a layer. So you could actually just go like layer, new layer, and then apply the pattern to that. And you can build it up. And also you can, if you want to recolor it, you can always go through layer, new adjustment layer, and hue saturation. Click OK, and then modify the color. So you don't have to go with red, and you can just colorize it as well. 